Welcome back, dear friends and supporters. As promised, we are starting our journey into the ESX framework. Due to the recent issues between the Ox team and the QB core team, it might be challenging for users with Ox resources to continue using them in QB core. Speaking of the ESX framework, it's a versatile and widely used base for creating custom roleplay servers in GTA 5, leveraging the 5M platform. Developed in early 2017, ESX quickly gained popularity within the 5M community due to its robust feature set. Continuous updates and active maintenance ensure that ESX remains compatible with the latest 5M updates while introducing new features over time. These elements combined have solidified ESX as a go-to choice for 5M server developers, contributing to its enduring popularity and adaptability across various server environments. Let's dive in and explore what makes ESX so powerful and how you can get started with it. To kick things off, let's download some essential software. The first one we'll grab is Visual Studio Code, or VS Code for short. This powerful code editor is my go-to choice for working with code. It's packed with features that make coding smoother and more efficient, and I've found it surpasses other editors I've tried. It's already downloaded for me, so I am just canceling it. Next up is MariaDB. We utilize this software to establish a connection between our server and a database, allowing us to store all our progress on the server. You might encounter various versions during the installation process, so don't get bogged down by the specifics. Just download and proceed. Now let's patiently wait for the download to complete. Once the download is complete, open the MariaDB file. Upon opening, click Next, then proceed to accept the agreement by clicking Next again. In this section, be sure to select Heidi's QL, as this is the software we require for running and managing our database. Click Next once more. Now pay close attention to this crucial login screen. I recommend setting the password as root and enabling access from remote machines for the root user. On the next screen, there's no need to make any changes. Simply click Next, click Next once again, and patiently wait for the software installation to be completed. The next step involves downloading the server base with 5M. To do this, follow the link provided in the video description. Keep in mind that the file name may vary due to constant updates. I recommend selecting either the optional, latest, or the version specified at the top of the page when you watch this video. After downloading, create a new folder named 5M. Inside that folder, create another one called Artifacts. Open the Artifacts folder, download the zip file, and once downloaded, unzip the files into this folder. You can then delete the zip folder and check for the presence of the FX server. Before opening it, make sure to visit the 5M website and confirm that it is linked to CFX. If not, go to form ccfx.re. Sign up. Now go back to the artifacts folder and open the FX server file. When you open FX server, your server terminal will pop up, containing a code to link your account with TX Admin. After linking and authorizing TX Admin, you will be redirected to the TX Admin login page. Set a secure password and proceed. Once your account is created, you'll be taken to the foundation of the server. Here, you need to enter the server name. Please note that this won't affect your actual server name in 5M. It's just for your comfort in TX Admin. In the deployment type, you'll find four options. Existing server data is used when you have files from another already built server. I'll cover all these options in future videos, but for now, we need the popular recipes. Now in the templates section, you'll see four different frameworks. Although I'll cover videos on all frameworks in the future, we'll start by picking the ESX framework. We'll go over how to set it up, explore its features, 
ensure the download path is correct, leading to the folder you created and direct it to the TX admin folder. Once everything is set, go to the recipe deployer. This is a crucial step, so make sure to listen carefully. Once you click next, you'll move to the input parameters section where you'll need to insert the license key. Don't worry, it's a free license key from CFX. Follow these steps. Go to Keymaster, sign in with your CFX account. After signing in, it will display all your active servers. If you don't have any, register a new one. Remember, you can only have three active servers at a time. Choose the display, which can be either localhost or your server name. This is mainly for identifying the server and the license key. For the next step, go to Google and type What's Meep to get your IP address. Once you find your IP, go to the CFX page and paste the IP. Select the server type as home hosted and fill in the other sections as well. Since we're currently on a local host setup, the key doesn't matter. However, when starting a real server, never give out the key to anyone. Once the key is used, the IP will be locked with that key, ensuring security. Copy and paste the license key in the designated section. And with that, the recipe is set. You should now be ready to start downloading the ESX framework scripts. This will lay the foundation for your server, and you'll be on your way to building a fully functional and customizable roleplay experience in 5M. Once completed, it will open the folder with resources, or you can open the 5M folder you created. Make sure you have a server.cfg file, as it's the mother for all scripts. When you open the resources folder, you'll see the default scripts you need to run a basic server. Open the session you created. On the left side, you'll see the database files. If it's there, everything is set up perfectly till now. Heidi's QL and database setup are extensive topics, and I'll cover them in detail in future videos. For now, it's important to ensure everything is working, and we'll delve into the details in subsequent tutorials. For now, let's go inside our play server. Ta-da! We're on our loading screen. I know, I hate this loading screen too, but don't worry. We're going to customize it in the coming days and provide you with some free scripts. Fill in the new player details and see yourself entering the game. If you've made it, congratulations. You officially create an ESX framework server by yourself. Go ahead, mess around with some citizens. Tomorrow we're going to learn how to give admin powers to another user and how to use the admin menu in detail. Until then, see ya! As we sign off for today, remember to hit that subscribe button for more content and feel free to share your questions or thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement means the world to us. Until next time, happy gaming, and see you in the next tutorial. I am very happy to announce that Codeine has now crossed 4,200 plus active members, making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo-creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!